Hi, welcome to SimplyScuba.com. In this session, we're taking a look at the Sea Life DC 1200 Elite camera set. Fantastic underwater camera for intermediate and beginner photographers. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So if we first take a look at what you actually get in the set, as you can see, if we start off first, you get the underwater camera housing and also the attached strobe as well. All comes in this nice carry bag inside the bag itself. Also, obviously accompany the camera, you get the digital camera itself, which we'll take a look at in a bit more detail in a second. Comes in its own little leather pouch as well, keep it nicely protected. All the information that you need to obviously go through all the bits and pieces of the camera. We've got the manual in there, also a few extra bits and pieces for camera care. There's also a separate little Velcro pouch inside of here, which houses a few other extra bits and pieces. We have all the relevant cables for attaching it to your television. Also for charging as well with the charger there and the charging cradle. USB cable as well for transferring all the images onto your computer. Also comes as well with a set of plug adapters. Obviously ideal if you're traveling abroad with the camera. There's also a, a wide angle lens in there as well. Real top quality lenses for obviously capturing all those extra images that you need to. All housed within this nice padded shoulder bag, all heavily padded around the outside, just to protect the camera in transit. You don't want to get it damaged when you get to your destination. Also with extra couple of zip pockets at the top there as well for extra bits and pieces to be stashed into. So we go ahead and take a look at some of the finer details on the camera. We start by taking a look at the, the digital camera itself. As we said, come housed inside this nice leather case, keep it nicely protected. Which just sits inside of there. This is a 12 megapixel camera. Obviously, as you can see, you can use it without the housing as well. Exceptionally versatile. Coming out all for your photography needs. As we said, 12 megapixels, so a nice, good quality camera. It's also got a five time optical zoom on this as well, and also video modes. So fantastic for capturing all the bits and pieces that you want while on your dive. Really simple operation as well. Take a look at the controls on the top first. We have the on off button a mode button, also the shutter button at the top there, and the zoom functions. Go ahead and turn it on. Nice large three inch screen on the back there, so really easy to view, especially when it's in the, uh, the housing itself as well. Currently got a screen protector on the front here just to stop any damage to the screen for the video. Really nice easy operation buttons down the side here as well, they're calling it their piano keys on here, so really simple to use, there's no clutter around the side of the screen, this is also mirrored on the housing as well, so very easy to use when underwater. The mode button on the top can switch between obviously the normal camera mode and the video mode. It's a VGA video mode on there, you can get up to two hours worth of video on a four gigabyte SD card, also takes the HD SD cards as well. We have the viewing button at the top there, full menu system for all the modes on the camera, so fully adjustable, so you can set it up automatically or manually, depending on what kind of photography you want to do. We have a timer system on the top there as well, full flash modes down the side that you can skip through, full macro modes as well, you can also adjust various other bits and pieces. Delete button at the bottom and also a set button to obviously make the, uh, the menus through the functions. Down the side we have the, the AV out section on the side there so you can plug it into the computer. Also a little section at the bottom for you to thread a lanyard through which is also included in the pack. On the bottom a section for the tripod and also the battery and SD compartment on the bottom there as well. So a fantastic little pocket sized camera that you can not only use outside the water, but obviously coupled with the housing, makes a fantastic underwater camera. Let's go ahead and take a look at the housing next. So here we have the underwater housing. As you can see, it's a nice, strong, rugged design. Really easy to use underwater, especially when you've got gloves on as well. Really good access to those buttons on the top and towards the back. To get the camera in, a little red switch on the side there. Let's give that a pull. Opens up the back of the housing. Nice large o-ring towards the back there, and as you can see all the controls through to the other side. Camera just slides in, nice and simple. Pop it shut, and you're good to go. 
Some of the features that we've got then, as we said before, nice easy operation with the buttons on the top here. We've got the on off button, the mode button, a nice large shutter button and zoom control on the top. Around on the back, obviously the window through to that nice large three inch screen. And as we said before, this piano key type system on the side here makes it really easy to use. You're not going to get too many cluttered buttons around the, around the function settings there, as you do tend to get on some of the other underwater housings. It's a really easy operation. Obviously got the playback button at the top there. You can scroll through the menu functions. Also easy access to the flash, focus and the delete button towards the bottom there as well. As you can see as well, we've got the plate at the bottom which holds the strobe on the side here. Really great strobe this. Again, as we said before, it's all nicely, good rugged design, nicely protected inside and really easy operation when you've got your gloves on. We've got the on off and test switch at the top. Again, nice large toggle at the top there to use. Manual control for the flash on the back here as well using this toggle system. We can even open this up and take a closer look inside. Let's give that a pull there. Further controls for the strobe on the back, going through the settings and also the section for the battery part in the back there as well. Takes four AA batteries. Obviously you can take a set of those when you go on holiday as well. Makes it nice and easy to replace the batteries. Don't have to worry about charging once you get there. Again, we've got the O-ring around the outside as well just to prevent any water from getting in. Nice large spongy handle and the strobe is completely removable as well so you can get any kind of position that you need to for obviously when taking your photos. We've also got the wide angle lens included in here which we'll go ahead and take a look at now. So the Elite Pack also comes with the included wide angle lens. This is a 24 millimeter wide angle lens this one. Increases your viewing angle by up to 50%. As you can see, nicely housed within these nice neoprene covers, just keep it protected. Obviously don't want to get scratched or damaged. Also the little lanyard on the side there as well. So you could clip it to the side of the camera and obviously just use it when you need it. Really simple operation as well. So if we just remove these neoprene covers. As you can see, really, really nice lens. Literally just pops straight onto the front of the camera, clips on, and you're good to go. So as we said, really easy to use. You can even pop this on while you're underwater as well, giving you the versatility of different types of shots while you're underwater. And with that little lanyard clip as well, literally just clips onto the base of the camera. So this is the Elite Series. You get a fantastic camera, a brilliant housing, and obviously with the benefits of that wide angle lens and the strobe as well, you can take some amazing photos underwater.